What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com here. So today I have the Team Associated Reflex DB10. I have the Paddle Tire Edition. So let's get into what comes in here. I've already taken the liberty to take this thing out of the box for you guys, so you're welcome. Also wanna let you guys know you can get this in four different models. It comes with the LiPo and the Charger, or you can get it with Paddle Tires. You can get it with these particular tires that's on here. So it does come with four different combinations. So that's pretty cool. This thing is, running I'll put it in here too but I'll skim over this you can kind of stop and pause it you know your 3300 kV motor that's in here rubber steel bearings the active uh, or the DVC is what they call it which is does dynamic vehicle control so that's pretty nice on that one's got a gyro that's in it just to keep this thing tracking straight that's cool um, going ahead and uh, this remote I like it it's not bad the, the radio it does have four double A's that you put in the bottom here Got all the little adjustments on the top. Does have that caliper rotor little setup that's in it. I definitely like when that. When it comes to what comes in the bag, you do have a bumper delete. You can kind of see that right there. Sorry for the reflection or what have you. But that little stub right there is uh, you can replace this bumper. This bumper has LEDs, so it's got little white LEDs in the front. But if you wanted to go ahead and take that off of there, you could do right. so. Looks pretty cool. I think it looks pretty awesome. So definitely cool. I like, you know, you got the intakes here for the engine. I think like something like, I don't know, what, a LS1? They had that same kind of intake set up in there. So definitely cool on that part of it. So let's go ahead. And it is two wheel drive, just so you know as well, but it is brushless. So let's go ahead and take that body off there. So now you can see. So be careful when you are, if you plug in your lights and then you go to take the body off of there, just make sure you don't rip that right out of there. Um, VRC Pro see it there it does give you a little code and that code would come with the uh, team associate this is their short course 10 4x4 so if you use the code you'll get this little truck what it is it's just a, it's a virtual game and you can actually get a dongle what it is, is that you can plug it into your computer and then you uh, hook up a receiver to it I believe and then you can have you can use your remote so that's pretty cool you just bring your car over more or less if you needed to and you can plug that into your receiver box and uh, go to town as far as driving an online game with your real remote, so that's definitely a cool thing. All right, guys, want to show you this also with the battery. This is a 3S LiPo that's in here, 5,000 milliamp battery. It's a Venom battery, and it still has plenty of space here. So if by chance you had a really long battery, you could either cut a little bit more of the foam, customize it yourself, but loads of space. It's more than I've ever seen on an RC vehicle, to be honest with you. So that is let's cool. Let's go ahead. Let's get this thing to the beach. Let's have some fun with it. <laughs> Action pack.
right, guys, this was a blast to drive. Uh, even my wife drove this thing, so it was a lot of fun. So here's the battery that I did use. I used a 2S LiPo, Gen's Ace 5000 milliamp 50C discharge. So yeah, only a 2S on it as of now. It can take a 3S since the 3300 kV motor that's in it. But being I was running it in the sand and it was super hot out and just to kind of let you guys know, GoPro overheated, my my iPhone X overheated and my wife, my wife was the only one that didn't overheat. So I think because I use mine a lot more, just can't handle the heat anymore. Um, but anyway, yeah, I, we couldn't even see our screen. So we're just like, what is it? Hopefully we're getting the shot. So uh, yeah, but it, because it's that, that white sand just reflects. So I was like sunglasses on and everything, trying to get some shade somewhere to try to get to see if we were getting the shots or what we were recording on, if we were doing slow motion or video. So yeah, so let me show you what I did do to prep it. And then after I got home, what I did as well. So what I did anyhow, so right now, the first when I first got it too, if you did this, it was making a little bit of rattling or whatever. So the only thing that I did, uh, other than that, this car is silky smooth as far as onto that, that sand. But um, yeah, I just use a little bit of Gorilla Tape and I'll show you here, just the sides. So I use a little Gorilla Tape and then I just use a little foam on the sides just to do that because it, um, it's, the body was just hitting on here and making a little bit of noise. So I just wanted to kind of dampen that with a little piece of foam. So that's what I did on both sides. And then I just put a little Gorilla Tape around the holes as well, just to kind of kind of help. If it did do a rollover, maybe that'll help it a little bit, give it a little bit more strength on the body. But uh, I just want to kind of make everything a little bit softer too. Uh, one thing to keep in mind too, when you're running these things in the sand, be cautious of uh, you know sand getting into your fan. It would be nice if they had a little filter on that. So if you are running in the sand like this, because once you go in reverse, those paddle tires are just gonna throw it all in there. Even when you're shooting around, it's throwing sand anyhow off these tires. Not as much, but on the front ones, it does shoot it into there. So I just dumped out the vehicle and hopefully that I was like, man, hopefully the, the fan's still running. But when I got home, the fan was stuck because uh, it obviously got sand in there. So what I just did is I took it off and just blew it out. And that's all it should be. Now it's smooth again. It's not, you know, stuck. Uh, other thing when you're taking the body off as well, just keep in mind because I had the right, the lights running on this while I was driving it. I just when you pull that body off of there, just make be cautious of uh, you don't pull these cables or anything like that. So, uh, but yeah. Um, Oh man, this thing was a lot of fun, man. So I think if you get one of these, uh, at least in, in here in Florida, it was a lot of fun. If any kind of sandy areas, I got sand in my mouth too. Um, I think you'll enjoy it with the PAL tires. Now it's not, it's an option too. So it definitely if you are looking for one that doesn't have the PAL tires, they have that. Like I said, there's four different models with LiPo, with charger, and without, and with PAL tires, there's four different models. So. Definitely gives you a lot of options there. Plus, we use Klarna, so it's a payment option. So if you guys are looking to buy now and pay later, it's definitely a great way to go. It's a lot of fun. So anyway, I'll have more videos on this anyhow, but until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends. Check us out at omgrc.com for all your hobby goodness. I'll catch you on the next video. You guys take care and thank you for watching.